Ecke. Knappe Viertelstunde war gespielt. Fafan von rechts. Hövedes und dann ist Raul da. Die Führung für die... Yo, what's going on guys? We're back for another video. For today's video, we're going to be reviewing Real Madrid's just overall legend. And we're going to be reviewing this 93 overall prime moment icon, Raul. He is a Real Madrid legend, however, he did also play for Schalke and another team I do forget. But we're going to be reviewing him because I did get him on loan, so I decided to just do a review on him. And yeah, Raul's going prices for both consoles on Xbox, he was about 2 point three maybe um to 2.5 million 2.5 billion being his max and then for ps4 he went for 2.5 to 3 million obviously because ps4 price is a bit more inflated for some cards but overall he did play really good some of the key stats that he did have were his positioning uh his finishing however for me personally i didn't really like his positioning because he wasn't really that you know into his role his striker role in my opinion i didn't really find him at, like up top that much if anything, I found Kenny Dalglish. Um, Raul kind of played more behind Kenny Dalglish, even though he was that striker. I don't know, it was weird for me, which is why I kind of didn't like using him, but I did use him in a 4-2-3-1, the second variation. But um, nevertheless, he was a decent card. Overall, I gave him an 8.5 out of 10. The only thing was his attack positioning, his long passing, and his price tag, because I didn't think it was kind of worth it. Um, his dribbling wasn't as good as Kenny Dalglish's dribbling, so it was kind of was a bit more difficult to swerve around defenders like it was with Kenny Dalglish because it was easy doing it with him. Um, however, he did provide a bit more assist compared to Kenny Dalglish. And you guys will see that he did create a couple opportunities for us. And he was a bit better in terms of passing. However, um, like I did say, his attack positioning and just his dribbling weren't up to par compared to Kenny Dalglish. But nevertheless, Raul's shooting was just outstanding. I think... If we're comparing it to Daglish, I feel like it was just a tad bit better. Um, I did put an engine card on Raul just to improve his dribbling, and it did help a little, but still not, you know, not really. But his finishing was a bit better than Kenny Daglish. You could tell the shot power for him was just more better, and his finishing was just amazing. Look, look at this goal. Like, he scored two amazing goals, one from outside the box, and then there was this one. And he was just a really nice card to use. Um, however... The dribbling did get to me, and if you guys were to get him, I'll probably play him in that 4-3-3, like the getting behind type of um, player, because he was really good. However, he wasn't as strong as I would have hoped the prime moment would be. Again, it's a striker. Strikers aren't really as strong if they're like 5'10 or, you know, or smaller, but I'm not going to get into that, but he was decent as a striker, but like I said, I would try him as a like center forward. For Cam, he didn't really play as good. I mean, he did get a couple shots in as Cam. However, I just prefer to put Kenny Douglas in as Cam, um, just so we could get some more highlights with Raul. But I kind of didn't, like, I forgot to play him as center forward. I kind of do want to do that every time I do a review, play him in every type of position that there's, like, possible for them, just to get the good feel of the card and just to make an accurate review and everything. But I feel like if you were to put him in getting behind, he would have a bit more opportunities just to get in behind and annoy the opponent's defenders and at least get a couple more chances created. Um, but he did get that at a striker position. Just the dribbling kind of did bother me and it was a bit difficult. But in some clips, you guys will see that was easy to dribble around with him, which it was. However, sometimes it just felt a bit heavy because it is FIFA, the gameplay just could be unpredictable sometimes. But he was a really fun card to use, and I keep saying that because it was true. Like, these Prime Moment Icon cards are just amazing, and they're just fun and just, like, good add-ons to the game. Um, however, I did kind I do kind of wish that, like I did say, play him at center forward. And some chemistry styles I do recommend, obviously, a Hunter just to improve his pace because he did feel fast. However, it would be better just to have that little extra boost. And his shooting obviously could use a boost. Who, I mean, who wouldn't want extra shooting? But it doesn't really need it. So, I mean, you could go with the Hunter if you'd like. But I would just do something to prove his uh, dribbling because it didn't feel as smooth as Kenny Douglas. And I try to replicate that. And it kind of did work, kind of didn't with the engine. Just because sometimes for some games he would feel like the best dribble, the best dribbler in the game. And then for some games he just would feel kind of clunky, kind of. I don't know, just kind of weird to play around and maneuver with, but 
It's FIFA, it's FIFA, boys. I mean, it happens every year. But we move. Um, overall, like I did say, 8.5 out of 10. Would I recommend this guy? If you guys did have the coins, I would just go with his prime card, not his prime moments. However, he is a still really good card, so it's your guys' call. Um, I'm 50 on him only because he did have some bad games and then obviously some games where he shined and just looked really amazing like a true prime icon. But so far, my favorite striker has been Kenny Daglish. I'm not trying to be biased or anything. It's not like favoritism towards him. I know it sounds like I'm kissing his butt too much, but it's just because Kenny Daglish is a really complete card and kind of like how Eusebio is just a complete card. If Kenny Daglish feels like that and with Raul, it didn't really feel like that. It just felt like his dribbling was missing and um, his just aggression as well because Kenny Daglish did have a bit more aggression compared to Raul. But still, it was a really fun card to use. I love using this Paramount Icon cards. I feel like for next the next review, I want to use a Stoichkov. I know his weak foot is just trash, but I feel like he'd be a really fun card to use. Or Kaka too. I kind of do want to use that Kaka because he just looks like he's on steroids. If I'm being honest, he looks really good. But we'll see. Um, it's up to you guys if you guys do want to use him. Personally, I'm 50-50 on him. He was a good card for some games, but then for some he wasn't. So that's why I'm 50 50 on him. Um, if you guys were to buy him, I would try to buy him for about 2 million, 2.1, 2.2, or if not under. But yeah, hopefully, you guys did enjoy the video. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.